guys, this is Anthony for Signal by Sony, a show about everything Sony makes. And today I am here with Kenta from the Sony camera team who has got some brand new toys for us. What you got, Kenta? So I have two new cameras and three new lenses okay. for you today. Um, I'm gonna start off with the, the new 3N. This okay. is the NEX 3N. Uh, it replaces the NEX F3. And if you remember, you know, it's an interchangeable lens camera. It has an APS-C size sensor in it. So it's the same sensor size as most DSLRs. This feels like it's yeah. uh, like it's smaller than my than my seven and my totally, F3. Totally, yeah. So I did bring uh, NEX F3 with me today. Okay. So we can do some size comparisons here. Um, inside the NEX 3N, we still have the same 16 megapixel image sensor. Um, max ISO sensitivity is 16,000. So those are the same. Okay. But what's different inside is the brains. So we have a, a, a new algorithm. Um, uh, area-specific noise reduction. What that, does that mean? So that's borrowed from the A99. It's very intelligent. So not only is it doing noise reduction on the entire image. So this is something where like if you see, if you have a picture that's like a sky with a nice sunset yeah. gradient and then like something with a texture in yeah. front of it. So if you have a tree, yeah. you know, you don't want that to have the same noise reduction algorithm as the sky. So it'll keep the tree sharp, but um, keep the, the, the sky nice and continuous in color. Very cool. So, so that, that improves, I would imagine, all kinds of like edges and things like that. Totally, yeah. Nice. So that's a really good improvement there. So another area that we improved is auto portrait framing. Before on the NEX F3, we only were able to do it on one face. So one person on, in that image. But now... <laughs> <laughs> just like, what happens if you have like two people? Would you exactly. just like crop a dude? So okay. we, we heard that complaint a lot and we improved it. So now this camera can uh, intelligently uh, see two people and okay. crop it that way. Very cool. And then um, also on top of that, we were like, you know, why not go further? So we have auto macro framing. Okay. So if you're shooting a macro image like a flower, It'll use that same sort of rule of third rule and make a better composition. And yet, there's another feature that we added. Um, it's called auto tracking framing. And the camera knows now that if you're tracking a subject and, and it's moving in one direction, it'll take that original picture and crop it so that um, it's a better composition, leaving more space in, in front of the object that's in the moving direction. So, I mean, in addition to being Smaller. I mean, this feels like it's really small, it's really, really light. Smaller, yeah. uh, what other physical differences are we seeing here? Um, I'm going to go from the similarities first. Um, the NX F3, um, the tilting 180 degree screen, was yeah. very popular, so we kept that cool. as well. One different thing, and this is a first for um, NEX, is the zoom lever here. So it's an electronic zoom lever, and then you can zoom in and oh. out. And it's positioned like this, so if you ever do self portraits, you can actually zoom nice. really easily. Like that. I like that. It still has a flash, pop-up flash as well. So just like Great. that. But it, if you can see here, the height is uh, reduced a lot. And that's uh, thanks to the lens here. It's a collapsible lens. Uh, one thing that I forgot to mention is that um, it also has uh, a zoom uh, lever here. Oh, that's convenient. But yeah, if, if you don't like that um, zoom lever, you can always use the zoom ring here. So you have actually three controls for zoom. The ring, the lever here, and the lever here as well. We have an ISO, dedicated ISO button here. Nice. Which is nice. But also, you can program that so um, you don't have to go menu diving. And th this is all programmable. Tell me about uh, Wi-Fi in this guy? No, there's no Wi-Fi. The NEX F3 didn't have Wi-Fi either. If you want Wi-Fi, which is a really cool feature, um, I recommend going up to the 5R or the NEX6. Gotcha. And let's talk about lenses. We obviously have this new kit lens here, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, what about the roadmap for e-mount lenses. Are there any new e-mount lenses coming that we that we hadn't known about previously? I can't tell you right now, okay. but uh, I can tell you that there's a lot more coming and, and there's a lot more in development in the pipeline. So just hang tight. Awesome. Um, it's going to be a great lineup this year as well. So. so tell me about price and availability on the 3N. So the NEX 3N is going to be available in April. Uh, it's going to be $4.99. You know, anything else that we need to know? Uh, it'll come in black or, uh, black or white. So, Very And cool. the black one would have a black kit lens as well. Nice. So. Awesome. So that is the new stuff for the NEX line. Mm -hmm. You brought a new Alpha with you as well. That's correct, yeah. So what I have here is the SLT A58 replacing the A57. And we're really excited about this model because uh, and there's a lot of improvements in this one as well. So it has a completely new sensor. Uh, on the A57, it had a 16 megapixel image sensor, but now on the 58, we have a 20 megapixel image sensor. Okay, so that's a jump. 
And, and then the max ISO sensitivity is 16,000. Is that different than the 57? That's the same. Okay. So um, very good in low light. Uh, but also the brains, the Beyonds processor, and that's changed as well. So I talked a little bit about area-specific noise reduction. That's also in here, borrowed from the A99. Cool. We also have an improvement in the EVF as well. Um, in the 57, it was LCD. Now you get OLED EVF. Nice. On the nice. I like that that OLED viewfinder is like working its way oh, yeah. across the line. So another improvement that we made on the A58 is lock-on AF. So, so how does that help? So that helps because there's only 15 points of AF, which is a lot for entry-level cameras, but because there's only 15 points of AF, you're limited in the center. But mm -hmm. if that if the camera is intelligent enough to recognize that there's a bigger object, then uh, if you go off to the screen a little bit, it, it will still recognize that it needs to focus on you. Okay, so, so if you move really, out of that AF area and then back into it, it's like, oh, you're back. Yes. That's cool! And this is great because thanks to TMT, Translucent Mirror Technology, it works in stills and video. Oh, that's gotta help so much in yeah. video. So, amazing features there. Yeah, that's great. So what else is new? What else do we have here? Um, the usual standard for an SLT camera is very high frame rates. Mm -hmm. So five frames per second at full res or eight frames per second in telezoom high speed shooting. Great. And then obviously not um, all these cameras have uh, 60i, uh, full HD um, movie capabilities okay. and 24p as well. Great. Also looks like we have a new kit lens yes. on this guy. Good eye, good eye. So this is a new kit lens. It's the 18 to 55 Mark II version. Okay. And what are the differences between the Mark I and the Mark II? Yeah, the cosmetically, uh, it's a little bit different. We have a metallic ring. Um, also, the rear element uh, that shades the lens as well is a little bit better. So there's less internal uh, reflections, giving you a better image quality. So tell me about price and availability for this guy here. This one, we're really excited. So A57 was $799. Mm -hmm. We're now offering this one with the new kit lens at $599. Wow, so, so that is a jump. Yeah. That and is great. That's This is also coming in April. Um, and yeah, we're really excited about this camera. Okay, so in addition to the new kit lens, do we have any other new glass coming for the outfits? So we have really two new exciting lenses coming out. So the SAL 7400G. Uh, we're updating that as well. And is there is there a price difference between the Mark One and the Mark II? Yes, slightly. There's a slight price increase. So one more exciting lens. Uh, it's the SAL 50 f1.4 Zeiss lens. It's a hey. new Zeiss lens. Hey, yeah. I like the sound of that. Yeah, it's going to be fifteen hundred dollars. Uh, Absolutely brand new on Zeiss lens that's autofocus. And remember, we are the only manufacturer that makes autofocus Zeiss glass. So wow. A lot of pros are gonna be wanting this lens. That's awesome. So that's that's April as well? Uh, that is going to be May. That's gonna be May. May. Awesome, thanks so Thank much you. for bringing this stuff by, Kenta. That's gonna do it for today. Be sure to check out more videos about all things Sony on our YouTube channel. For now, I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.